we we talk about it as if it's it's up for debate. Like, oh, they have their nah, they're winning here. In the black community, they're winning this 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 religion shit. Like people believe more in God than they do they dream to have to read. Take my crown now These voices in my head I'm telling you to bow down You don't got control, no So bow down I don't give you control, no So bow down Yeah, yeah I'll take my crown now These voices in my head I'm telling you to bow down You don't got control So bow down I don't give you control, no So bow down Yeah, yeah You said something important when you pretty much said that I'm kind of paraphrasing. I didn't know myself until I became an atheist. Hmm. Like you feel now this is your most authentic oh, self yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, it's like That's powerful. Yeah. This is my I can definitely say the same. I, I would say being an atheist, lacking belief in God, is like it gives you freedom you get to choose now you know ain't no you know it's like whatever you want to do with it you know you 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 have nobody standing over you telling you what to what to do and how to do it your thoughts are your your own you know all your choices are your own so if you like to do something a certain way uh it's not a sin dog you can do it go do it th- that way and it's like you don't you don't really know who you are when you're religious because everything is I'm nothing without the God. Jesus is my only way. I, I, I'm i useless. I'm worthless. I'm, I don't deserve to be here. I shouldn't be here. But because somebody died on the cross, I'm saved. And, and yeah, and very, there's scripture that pretty much says that your thoughts are not mm. your own. God's are within you Mm -hmm. and whatever our god's thoughts supersedes human understanding or some shit like that and i'm like well then i never have my own thoughts (laughs) ever it says it says (laughs) lean not on your own understanding so that means every what what does that even mean the brain he gave me don't use it at all just the 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 Mm -hmm. one thing christians say he doesn't want is the one thing you have to become to believe, which is a mindless robot. When you ask them, you know, they say God gave us free will to love him back because he didn't want mindless robot. And then you read the book and he's telling you to be what? A mindless Mm -hmm. robot. So it's like you go from being a mindless robot to the real you, you know, leaning on your own understanding, figuring it out on your own, coming up with your own ideas and not, not getting on your knees and asking Something in the sky before you make a, a decision, planning it out and coming up with this yourself. You know, that that feels better. And I guess the latest thing is you were um, banned from TikTok. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. What happened there? I don't know. They don't. The Christians report you and then they ban you for that shit. Like. On it's it's weird how how the guidelines work on that because they'll 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 flag you for community guidelines, but then you'll see some that was worse than what you posted, and it's like, mm-hmm. so I can't say, you know, I can't talk like this, but everybody can be naked and they can say you are gonna burn it. You know, they can threaten us, but we can't criticize them. It's like, oh man. I have like I record a lot of video that I haven't posted yet. So every t- like, you know, this is this is how I I would say this is how I you know get through all of this shit. And so as soon as I get upset, I feel kind of fired up. I go record or I go live, depending on whichever one I can you know I can do. Yeah. If it's in the morning time, I just record a video. If it's like later on, 
I try to go live in the studio, but you know, for the most part, it's either I'm at work or I just wait till I get home or when I'm off, which was yesterday. That's why I was able to do that. That invites and helps with the welcoming of new people, mm-hmm. right? So that's there's nothing wrong with that. I think the big excitement was you figuring out how to add mods to your channel. So that was <laughs> That was I, I, I was should, like, okay, we I should like clip open. that and make it its own. That was hilarious. Man, okay. I was Hold on. We should work that, with, work that's, with Black AD. That's a right good group. Mm. I didn't get y'all a good stream. Work with me. Hmm. What a fucking link to yo. Well, let me. I need to let, yeah, it's, <laughs> Neil should know, he hands down, all right, yo, <laughs> yo, y'all are tweaking in these comments, man, <laughs> this person said, <laughs> this person said, best YouTube content ever, watching moderators being born, man, come on, man, what do y'all come up with this shit at? Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, what is what are these? <laughs> yo! Yo! Oh. <laughs> oh die, bro. Oh man, I'm crying. Yo. Yo. What the fuck is that comment, man? Yo, who the fuck said that? That's a good one. Okay. All right. Another thing I wanted to mention was, uh, especially recently, uh, and I think a lot of it um, stuck with me when you were last on Oz's stream, and I was there too, and other people, where you were pretty adamant about um, the suffering of people and how people were, you know, I think. The phrase you kept saying was, "We already lost." Yeah. Already oh, lost. oh man. I was, yeah. I've been, I, th- <laughs> it's like Jenna. I'm when because well, people don't understand what I say when I say that. What I mean is like. So what do you mean? In in this neighborhood where I'm at, you know, mm-hmm. it's churches on every block. You go to the you go to the the nicer parts of town. Everybody go to it's like one church in that whole area. You know, so we we yeah. we we're giving them more money than the people with more money. They taking and they not giving back to the community. We already lost everybody. Like everybody believes in this shit here. Ain't no lukewarm. You no, know, it's Bible thump and it's believe just because that's what black people do. Type. It's like nobody's like nobody's questioning their faith here. So when I say we are, mm-hmm. when I say we already lost, it's like the the church the religion the system it's they 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 they're winning they're up right now they up a hundred right now you know like literally the same street has like four churches everybody that's going to that church is investing you know money into it that could be invested into something else they all putting their money yeah. in. They, they all putting their money in they're not getting none out and all these four churches are separate they they not working together to build nothing they all <laughs> every church has their own new building uh fun or whatever like so it's like from from me i'm new building you know, I'm, like, I'm, I'm on the outside <laughs> looking know. in you know I, yeah so like i'm in those areas where that, that they talk about i'm in there and it's like ain't no this ain't 50 50 this ain't we have a you know this like we we talk about it as if it's it's up for debate like oh they have their nah. They're winning here in the black community. They're winning this 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 religion. Shit. Like people believe more in God than they do their dreams, and aspirations themselves. That you know what I'm saying. Like I was thinking about this earlier, and like if you tell black people that you believe in God, they're like, oh good, you know they have faith in that. You tell them what you want to do, but like your goals and shit, they kind of discourage you a little bit so like they they believe more in god than they do people you know the shit that's they kind of become more yeah they become more critical <sighs> that's what I'm saying. like you can tell people 
that you believe in God, they won't go into detail. They don't care about your context as long as you believe this shit. You tell them about, you know, things you want to do, places you want to go, they kind of, you, you know, maybe you should play it safe, you know, just get you a little, you know what I'm saying, get you a little regular degular. You know, ain't nothing wrong with regular degular, but. Regular de- <laughs> Can't tell everybody that, can you? No. If, if that's what I'm saying, like if everybody plays safe, we got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I mean, you can't even run. You can't run for no public office if, if you don't outright say, "Hey, I'm. I believe in God." You gotta believe in something. They're not gonna vote for you. We don't. We don't like. <laughs> there, there are people who probably like in office right now that don't believe in God, but they got a lot like they do. And I'm like. That's that's a telltale sign right there that we lose. You can't even be yourself in this country, you know, if you don't believe in God. So it's like, you know, we're not a country that, you know, punishes you physically or locks you up in jail uh, for not believing in Christianity, which means which is the predominant religion here. Mm. Not necessarily saying this country was started on the Christian faith because, you know, founders were deists at best. So, um, but you see that persecution in other countries, mm. uh, especially more Islamic ones. So it's very different type of culture and society here in America where, you know, you still hold on to this fear. And I, I'm wondering if it's just because of, you know, um, that close uh, that closeness with community and that feeling of losing or being ostracized mm-hmm. because you don't know where else to turn versus, you know, someone that actually does physically receive harm for not being of that said country's faith. It's kind of like mm. every, the, the reason why we don't see that more of that physical abuse or that harm is because the people who don't believe are smart enough to know, you know, they, they read the room like, I can't say this here. I can't talk like this here. So everybody, even, 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 um, like even my main people that be on my channel are like this, you know, they don't really want to, you lose your job, your place, your people, your family, you lose everything if you do this. So it's kind of like, we don't have more of that here. Cause everybody here is like worth, you know, they, they, they win their options, come out, yeah. come out and lose everything or we'll wait a little bit longer until I'm, you know, I'm on my own a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. it's kind of like that. But let's see, like, I already, uh, what, what, I, what I tell them is, you know, if you got to play it safe, play it safe. But see, I already lost all that shit. You know, they already, mm-hmm. they are, they already blackballed me. You know, I lost my support system. Never really had one. The people that were religious, they kind of stopped talking. I already lost it. So I ain't got nothing else to lose by coming on the stream and saying what I say, you know. So it's kind of like I'm I'm depending on just me anyway. So it's kind of like somebody got to do it with with <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. So it's like, man, fuck it, I got it. We battle, you know, as atheists. I I'm battling the whole not believing in God in the black community shit. But you know, most of us people don't people don't even talk about how most of us. You know, I raised my brothers and sisters. I had to help pay bills at an early age. You know, I mean, you know, gang violence, gun violence, all of that. Plus this, this atheism stuff. It's a, it's a whole different fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many different problems I have on top of not believing in God. So it's kind of like I don't. The, the 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 patience and the tolerance to sit here and try to debate you. While all this is going on, I don't even have time. So it's like, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I wouldn't care how many black people believed in God if it didn't, you know, if it didn't come from a negative place and it wasn't used to like shun people who don't. It's like, okay, black people like Jordans, you know, or it's like everybody liking black shirts. Nobody, you know, I love wearing black. Nobody complains about me believing black is the best color in the world. Nobody cares. Why? Because <laughs> There is no book telling me to go out and treat people different because they don't like black shirts. And so that's that's the biggest thing I feel like people 
when it comes to like respecting religion they forget that part like oh i really can't respect this because they you know they they think that they read the book and they're the worst enemy they think he's controlling us so they walk we we're respecting mm-hmm. we're respecting a belief where the people who believe it walk they they live their everyday lives thinking their worst nightmare is controlling us How, you, they're gonna treat us different Ooh. He don't, he don't believe in God? I'll get him out of it. Like, I've literally seen it. To, it's, it's been done to me and other people, but like, they look at you different. They treat you different. They think something's wrong with you. The same caring, loving person that just want to help the world and make it better than how you, you know, leave it better than how you found it. They think so. They think you make mm-hmm. it. Uh uh-uh, uh, can't respect. It. That's the biggest issue. It ain't. It ain't that seventy five percent of black people believing is seventy five percent of black people believing something that was, you know, what I'm saying, used against them, and they're using it against others. That's the. That's the biggest issue. Don't nobody care about you believing in Bigfoot real? Ain't no book. <laughs> ain't no. Yeah. Ain't no crusade. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> There is there there is no no slaughter and genocide in the name of Bigfoot. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they don't kill you if you don't believe that. With your channel, it's about just over a year old, and it didn't take long for you to hit over a thousand subscribers, which is nice. Congrats! That was a while ago. <laughs> so you 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 made it. <laughs> Are you famous? Something like that. <laughs> they 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 love me on there. They treat me like, well, I would say they treat, they treat, it's family, you know. I got the, uh, I don't think you, if you saw the comment the other day, but the lady was like, it feels like home. And I get that, I, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, I, I get that DM on Instagram all the time. Man, thank you, family. It feels like a family. It feels like home. I'm home. I made it home. This is my, it's like, that is the whole point. That is the that is my that is my feel. I I I mean, it's nothing else like it. It's it's yeah. it's such a blessing. <laughs> you know, when when people that you may not ever see in person, you know, they only know you from the interaction on and they call you family like we you know, I, I always take pride in treating complete strangers like I knew them my entire life. I take pride in that. And so you can put me in a room with anybody. Anybody. The old of the old. Give me 80-year-old 80, 80 Mexican. Give me 18-year-old Spanish kid. Give me 20-year-old black kid. Give me 30-year-old white man. We can talk two or three hours. I'm going to treat them like family. They going to feel like they knew me. And I, I take pride in that. And so I just brought that you know, my natural, me, me being my natural self, just brought it to YouTube. You know, when, when I talk to them, when I talk to them on live streams and shit, I talk to them like, <laughs> I miss them. I ain't seen them in a couple months, you know. I miss them. I talk to, yeah. I talk to y'all like I miss y'all, because I do. You know, when when I'm not on YouTube, that's it. Ain't no atheists. Ain't no, there are no non-believers here. So it's like, if I'm not talking to you and them, that's it. It's a wrap. So when I finally get to talk to y'all, I'm ear to ear. I'm smiling so hard. The back of my head hurts from smiling three hours because I'm just excited to see my, my family. And it's like, that's, that was the, that's one of the goals. You know, I, I, yeah. I enjoyed the disrespect and the, I, I, I get a kick out of that. Like just being me on the cam you know i was disrespectful to religion before i press record so it's like i ain't putting on no act now that's 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 black atheist rest for you you know i <laughs> i'm not acting yeah i'm not acting yeah. ain't no script i don't even write it down sometimes it's like i click i click the button and i just talk i just and let it out and it's it means the world when people tell me like something that I created, you know, my creation, right? 
it makes them feel at home man that's everything you see what i'm saying like in in a world <laughs> jenna in a world full of hate and bigotry and discrimination oh my god i don't like you because it is you know your skin how you talk how you white black and whatever rate they all tell me they they feel like home they, you know it's home for them I'm like man i'm you know i'm doing something that's 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 a uh that's a, a compliment that's a community yeah it's a community you know that's that's my like that's my i said it already but that's my fuel like that that shit motivates me to know like I'm, it, even if I'm having a bad day, God damn it! When I press record, somebody's about to have the time of their life just talking to their brother from another mother, or you know. And it's like, how, how can you beat it? You know, like we okay, you know, we we have, you know, we got everything we need. We have the people there to debate, the people there to school you, the people who, you know, we got them all, and. I, there was a little spot for me. I had to, I got in where I fit in it. You know, get in where you fit in. I got right in where I needed to be. The family, the family man. You know, <laughs> we gonna bash it and we gonna beat it over the head, and we gonna do it together. And then we are gonna go over there and we can have a conversation on that side. But over here, you know, this is I. I I'm starting to focus more on the people who don't believe that don't have nowhere to go versus the Christian that just want to, you can't prove my God. Hey man, man, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, brother. Yes. Let me show you what an atheist is. You don't believe in God. I got you. Come here. So, um, yo. <laughs> so is it safe to say you're, <laughs> is it, is it safe to say that your initial purpose, as far as starting your channel, uh, I don't know if this kind of started TikTok, then YouTube, but either case, is it safe to say that initially it was to rant, to be voiceful to Christians and Muslims and who, whoever, you know, they believe their God was to throw it in their face and be like, this is bullshit. Mm. And then now, now that you've done more, talk to more people, experience more, all within a, sh a year and some change you transition to it now being I need to find folks where I am. Mm. I need to find those that are closeted. I need to find those that are scared to, you know, be as boisterous as you are, which is needed because mm. you, you, you need those that you can identify with. I, there are certain people that I can identify with you. There's certain people that I can identify with Mandisa, certain people that maybe identify with me or whomever or Cynthia McDonald or the African humanists, mm. all of them. There's definitely a certain crop of folk that I, that you can see yourself in. And that is the bridge that helps people get over. Mm. I'm a, so that's definitely your purpose now. I, so in the, in the beginning, I ain't gonna lie. I I I, I really wanted to stick it to him. Ugh, like, I, man, it felt that. <laughs> Tell the truth, shame the devil. That shit felt good. <laughs> Ooh, it it's, it it still does. Like when I when I go back and watch it, I'm like, mm, that's that's my shit there. But I I enjoy it because you know at first I I just wanted to get it out and let it out. And then people start saying, no, 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 keep going. You speaking for me, dog. Keep going. Like, okay, I got you. And then, you know, as as it went along, you know, I wanted to, you know, it started off trying to be as disrespectful as possible and, you know, bash it, mm -hmm. bash it, bash it. And then people, you know, once I started talking to people and it's like, you know, I, 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 I want to bash it, but I want to talk to you and make you feel like you can connect with me and so it's kind of you know live streams and posting and live streams and posting and then it's it's kind of like i can multitask a little bit you know <laughs> you know i can yeah you I can, can. You can. Yeah, you can. my um so the, the way the way i treat it now 
you know, I can't, I don't have a therapist or nothing like that, you know? So it's like, who do I talk to, y'all? Where do I release it? This is your you know what I'm saying? Where do I release yeah. it, y'all? How do I cope, y'all? I'm, it's like YouTube has become exactly what I need, you know? It's, it's, so like, when I first became an atheist, there was the the guy like me was missing and it's like i wanted to i make the videos that i mm. could sit through i make videos that i would watch that i like i go back and watch my own shit so it's like this is for me and people like me too you know i these are the videos that i want to watch the black dude reading the bible word for word oh give it to me i want that i wanted that you know the the guy that's going live and anybody can jump on anybody no matter how far along you in to this you know you could be the top notch dude with all the philosophical arguments in the book or you can be the dude that just don't want to believe in it no more come on you know it's like bridging the gap <laughs> you know like my arms is i'm connected to that side and that side and everybody just come together here the the saying was like this you know uh when i was in high school they had you know a and b honor roll comp uh programs and when we graduated they a motivational speaker came and spoke to us about the future nobody nobody mm -hmm. asked him why are you talking to these you know lower bracket kids and you know from the ghetto why are you talking to them why are you coming to their school trying to give them hope you know they're indoctrinated with the streets and the hood shit why are you trying to show them that there's more to the world than just slanging and gang man what you doing why are you doing it nobody asked them that they came and they said you can be whatever you want to be put your mind to it you can do it work hard achieve they, that's what they said to us nobody nobody questioned them nobody said man these people are indoctrinated they're brainwashed leave them alone they that you can't help them Nobody said that to them. And so my thing was, I noticed how atheists, they say, hey, you know, you don't have to believe in God. You can believe in yourself. There's other things, better things to believe in. You leave people alone. Let them believe what they want. You're trying to change it. Why you care so much? I'm like, wait a minute. He just did the same thing. That man came to my school and spoke for almost an hour. And nobody, everybody clapped when he left. And I say the same thing, and you telling me, focus on myself. Stop talking so much. Be quiet. Leave them alone. Huh? So it's only cool when they do it. Nobody, nobody tells the motivational speakers and the, the the special guests. Nobody tell them to be quiet and go back where they came from and stop caring so much. But they tell us that. That's literally what people say. Why do you care so much? And my answer is, why don't you? Right, the people, these people, the, these people that you want me to stop talking to, stop encouraging to get away from this faith, stop the people you want me to stop motivating. What you think gonna happen to them? You know, do, don't you care about them? I care about people. You know, it 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 bothers me. It bothers me when I can eat and I'm knowing, you know, my brothers and sisters that live in they not eating nothing. That that that, that messes with me. You know, I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't like how the whole prayer, pray for things and you get them, and then I pray for things and I don't get them. Man, that is the worst part to me. The same God that's feeding you, letting me starve, and you thanking them? No, I care too much to do that. So it's like <laughs> they're they're they they only care about people subjectively. It's not it's not all the way. It's not a hundred percent. It's fake. How how do we treat people who we feel like are fake? They're they're they you know they two faced. They talk behind you. How do we treat those people? We don't want nothing to do with them. So it's kind of like if you show if you showing fake love and 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 wishy washy love, you only you only care about people when there's someone that you know believe what you believe. And when I say the same thing as him, because I don't believe in God, it's different. No, that's that's fake. That's that's you're not being real. You're not authentic. You see what I'm saying? We treat those people a certain way. So it's like, how am I supposed, how am I supposed to treat those people that talk to me like that?
Because it, 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 you don't apply that same exception to any other mm-hmm. situation. Why? It, it's only applied to a person that has faith and one that doesn't. Mm. That's it. Right. Only. And then, you know, and I can see how, you know, having them conversations where you, you focus so much on trying to c- let them know what damage and wrong is in their book. And then they come back at you. And I've heard it myself, too. Why do you care? Leave people alone. Let them believe what they want to believe. I've come to the point where I've, you know, rest my case on having people believe what they want. I don't, I I didn't set out myself to remove people from their religion because I can see how traumatic and damaging that could be depending on where they are in life. I don't set out to be an um, anti-theist either. I think... There can be some usefulness subjectively, not for them to apply it to objective Mm. reality, but subjectively they can apply it to just themselves and themselves alone and how it benefits them. But once it crosses that boundary of, you know, now your faith is impacting laws or it's impacting someone's Mm. civil rights or it's impacting the continuation of you know progress on social issues that's where it, uh i bite back and say no that bullshit's wrong and it needs to stop you can do whatever you want with your faith for yourself mm-hmm. if that keeps you to be a good person that keeps you to be a good upright citizen or whatever and that prevents you from murdering people or whatever the case may be fine But luckily, me, you, all the friends that we know, we don't need that. And I think that actually makes us stronger. Hmm. So it's it's like, I see what you're saying. Like, we can do it, but we don't need the, the whole, you know, do it. Do it because I said you, I don't need that over my head. Right. There is no Mm. commandment for us to do this and do that or, you know, shill out money to people 3,000 miles away from us or for me to just be up late talking to you while sitting on the floor. (laughs) You know, there's no commandment for me to be nice to you. I'm just nice to you because I I treasure you and value you as a person and Mm. as a friend and someone that I, and I've said this before to you, that I admire because you exemplify a characteristic that I know I don't have, mm. but I see the importance of it for people that can identify mm. with you. And we need all sides of this. We need different shades of us. I want to, uh, I wanted to say something about what you said about like, if it, you know, subjectively, you know, them keeping it to themselves, like the, I, I, the way I see it is like they have to, Jenna. Like they gotta spread it. They have to. You can't. You can't really keep it to yourself. You can't. I mean, as I, I, it's it's it sound good, Jenna. It do. It really sound good the way you say. I'm like that sounds so good, but it's like you know they. You but know, it's not reality. The, I know. My church pressured me into trying to convert strangers in the mall. Most Christians I most Christians mm. I've talked to, they trying to win souls, Jenna. Even the ones that just, you know, they don't even want to be a pastor. Even the ones that's, that don't have a church trying to win souls. Just the regular Joe Blow who believe and he think he got a a, a, um, a calling to spread the... Man, these, <laughs> these people are yeah. out here. <laughs> so, it's, it's interesting. So, my church like um, got in contact with a publisher or something and they printed out these little pocket books that have like scriptures of trusting Jesus Christ and um, leaning on God and all this other, you know, nice scriptures that people can read and reflect on. So the motivation every first Sunday was for, uh, you know, the um, sanctuary to receive this pocket book thing and we get one every mm. month go out to 
our neighbor, community, whatever, and give this to someone. Like, let that spirit move you to just put this in someone's hand, <laughs> you know? And then so most people will go a step further and actually put money in it. I'm like, well, aren't you working against God's, you know, true, mm -hmm. like, nature? Like, you're going to add money to something that should already be just as powerful because you're giving the word of God to someone else. That's basically saying, oh, you know, God kind of quiet. And here, here's an extra 20. <laughs> I'm just going to slip oh this my right gosh. in there. <laughs> Wait, here's my church. <laughs> Come on the by. Fun thing, the fun thing right? is the guy I work for did the same thing. <laughs> He, he used to get these little books from his school. Like, I mean, from his uh, church. It's like this small, little small little book. And like ever so often, mm -hmm. he would like hand them to everybody in the truck. Because I used to work for a lawn, uh, lawn service. He would hand them to all of us in the truck. All of us like 20, 18, 19, 17. All of us get the book. And I read it when I was, you know, I was still believing at the time. I was reading it. But, I, you know, you, what you just said brought me back. It brought it back. And I'm like... Yeah, they not they not playing for a, a few of your earlier videos um touched on a lot of social stuff mm. i know there was one where oh, you yeah. had uh, george floyd about mm -hmm. that one so that one of course was touching and i think that was the one where you were like the most angry that i've ever seen mm. that it, 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 Talk about it that. was so like what, what made me so upset about what happened is because I, wa I you know, I, I watched the whole nine minutes and I, and, and, it, and that was hard to watch, but I, I watched how everybody reacted after these people was like, man, we had enough of this. Everybody protested, everybody, everybody in the streets. And I'm like, these people banded together and protested against something that they saw, they witnessed it. They saw it did damage. They saw it cause on. They they see. They saw like if we don't stand up and put it into this now, it's gonna keep coming. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna snowball. So I'm like, okay. I watched how they reacted to that. They don't like they don't like police brutality. And then it, all of them go home. All of them went. All I'm pretty sure 90% of that crowd went home and pray to the same God that has done worse and that let that happen. How do I, 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 how do I react to that? Are y'all really, is is it really Black Lives You see what I'm saying? How does anyone react Is, is it that? really Black Lives Matter or is it Black Lives Matter every day of the week except Sunday when you got to pray to God, right? So it's like, that was, is, you know, because I'm, <laughs> I, I, I used to say this a lot. But I'm ready to stand in the street and protest. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to put my signs up about God. You know, I'm ready for us to hold hands and walk down the street, protesting this 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 system. I, I, the way they the way they treated that 10 minute video is the same way I treat religion. I feel I feel the same way about it. And it was like how, every, everybody, you know, we we band together against police brutality you know and then we don't we don't we don't we have to debate when it comes to god jenna ain't jenna there was no 20 minute opening 10 minute closing about what happened to george floyd there there is no debate there was no debate there is no i believe this you believe no everybody was like we saw that that was wrong and then when mm -hmm. it comes to god where they where they're doing they're doing worse. No, it's a debate. It, there's a <laughs> there's an auditorium filled with people. We we have to we we got we got books talking about arguments. Huh, sir? Did you read it? Well, uh, it, it, imagine twenty minutes from now, they bring up George Floyd and somebody say, "Oh, that was." That was old police brutality. We got some new, we got some new stuff now. Huh? That was old. That was old police. We do it different now. No, it still happened though. And we can't, we can't act like it didn't. So when we, you know, if, 
if if the book is true and, and what it said actually happened, how how are we not protesting? How are we not how are we not in the streets? That I mean, I couldn't even believe that because th- that was uh, what happened. George Floyd, that was my first taste of hey, no. You saw it live and in color. Knee on the neck. I can't breathe. breathe get out. I watched the whole thing. Like, I actually just watched that and it's real. That's not TV. That was real life. It's like. And we, but, but we but we see it. We see what we see what uh Islam is doing in other countries. I argue that if Christianity could have their way, we would be like Afghanistan. It'd be the same way. I argue that's that, you know. It's like we we protesting and it's Black Lives Matter. But you know, Christianity is ruin ruining the the you know, Christianity is ruin black ruining the black lives too, I would say. Yeah. So it's just wasting it. So it's kind of like where do non believers that do stand up for Black Lives Matter that do want to defund the police and everything that comes with it and every other social issue that aligns with that where do non-believers stand i there was a an episode of a show that my sister and her now husband was watching where it was like a mock uh reference of you know what we typically see when a black man is shot and killed Mm. and murdered and then there's protests that follows and then there's the over emphasized military response Mm -hmm. from you know the local police and majority of the scene and thereafter as it went through other scenes was you know hymns um people in a church praying Mm. heavily hard singing like suddenly a choir just manifests itself (laughs) <laughs> you know and it's like you know i feel for the activism and the purpose of the movement but i i can't identify myself with any of the people mm-hmm. because majority of them are believers does that make me less i don't think that makes me less it's a hard qu- it's a hard thought as far as you know trying to align with a movement that you recognize is good for us you, but in every type of group there's faith in it you just uh you just made me remember something that i used to i, I should start back saying this but i used to say in that in that george floyd video i i said it and i said you can't protest one injustice and not them all we i mean <laughs> there is yeah. no debate i mean we, we 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 even the people that believe it if if they if they sat down and just went through it they would conclude that dang this these religions are an injustice to humanity what what, what a believer can do with one of them books and some resources oh they can get it they can get the job done now. they can, they can they can they can do some inhumane things with that book and some resources it's an injustice so how the, how, how the fuck is we going to get in the street and protest and then go home and just this is this is an injustice too they're they're one and the same people some people even say that racism and and that kind of discrimination stems from religion i I, you know i'm i'm i kind of look at them like i treat them both the same but some people say one came from the other so if if Mm. if i don't if if a white cop don't like me because i'm you know my skin. And he gonna he gonna he gonna treat me different. Even if my hands on the wheel, I ain't got no my pants ain't sagging. I'm I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Even even when I get pulled over now, I'm scared of my life. I'm like, please be a black cop. Please be. A... That's, that, you see what I'm saying? So it's like we we protesting an injustice, and then we go home and pray to an injustice. And I'm just like, oh my god. That what that's what makes me so upset. When I made when I made that video, I was after the video I was up. So I'm like, even even after recording this, this don't even do this don't even this don't even do it. 
Nobody's getting it. Nobody's understanding. It's it's is Black Lives Matter, is defund the police, and then is how great is our God? Jesus got me through it. Uh break every chain, glory to God. Huh? That confused that <laughs> Whether it be Yeah. That confused me. <laughs> Whether it be it does confuse me too. Whether it be really good or really bad, God gets all the favor. Like, oh, it's really good. That was God's will that it be done. Oh, it was really bad and they died. Oh, God has a plan for them. It's it's the same excuse, just worded differently. And I'm wondering, and I'm going to ask you this too, and maybe it could be difficult to answer. What is the good of Christian faith in the black culture? Do you see any at all today, even in history, but mostly today? Today, none. I can't see it. Like, I can't. I just, I just can't see it in 2021. I can't see it. I cannot. What, 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 I mean, what can you say? From, from, from what I've seen them do in the hoods, all they do is throw a fucking barbecue once a year and maybe give out a backpack before August. Hmm. Congratulations. We're spending all our time and money on a building and a, and a, and a religion that's not putting, that we're not getting a return on that investment. We not, I promise we not. Even the people, <laughs> we we not getting a return. The, the, the people, the people that take their kids to Sunday school, your kids are in there learning about gibberish. Ain't no, they not teaching you two plus two and you know, more advanced mathematics and reading. You, you, whatever, whatever reading, whatever third grade, fourth grade reading level you come in reading on. When you leave Sunday school, you still reading on that level. It's Sunday school, but what are you learning? Right? I was in Sunday school. I was mm. in church. They didn't. I didn't learn about credit until after high. Well, I ain't gonna say after high school, but like the the most important part that I needed before I start getting credit cards, I didn't learn that until after. They didn't. T- what are they? What are they doing? How is it a benefit? What are they doing? What are they telling us? What are they teaching us? What are they saying? Right? Ain't no. There, Not there enough. are more. I said this in the video. There are more churches than healthy food stores, libraries. You know, skate parks, uh, uh, public places. You know, pub- community centers. It's one community. Let me see one. And it's one could so it's two community centers in my in my big block. Now ask me how many church. It's like 17. I'm not joking. It's like 20 of them. And, and if, if we take that, if we take the first community center from the second, because they're they not that close. If we count, if we count all the churches in between, it's like damn that, it's like 15, 16 churches. So for every two community centers where kids can get off the street, it's 15 churches teaching them gibberish, nonsense, bubkies. They not we not learning nothing when we there, and when we leave, they not they not calling and checking up on us. They not what they sending us home with. If it's Sunday school, what you sending me home with, right? If I'm if I'm if I'm 17 hmm. and I'm coming to an after school program, what in the what are you teaching me? You teaching me <laughs> you teaching me about Noah's Ark. And then when I graduated high school and got to get in this real world, I can't put, I know that a boat floated with two of it. They don't go on no job application, baby. You don't put that on no, you don't put that, you don't, you don't put that on no scholarship for no internship and you don't know. So what, what is the benefit today? Nothing for the young, nothing for the old, nothing for the middle, nothing. It's a, <laughs> it's a costume party. <laughs> you <laughs> you paying ten percent <laughs> to come as you are. Come on, man. Joke. Let a, me just tell you, it's a gonna costume put that out there. party, you know? <laughs> We paying ten percent, twenty percent. The dude I used to work for was giving thousands. 
We ain't gonna talk about that though. Yeah, we we, we make the joke about ten percent, but let's be honest, most real believers they they breaking bread. So it's like two two oh, if, yeah. if if you making if you making a hundred k a year, or you know I say let's if you making if you making a decent amount and you you got a you know a nice little place and stuff and you feel like you you feel like God done bless you with something, or you give more. I wonder if we could do a study about what percentage of the church actually gives five dollars a dollar. Most of them giving 300, 20, 50, 60. So what is 10%? Most you don't even Yeah, most you don't even know what their right. finances are as far as what goes out to the community. I think the damnest thing is what I was told or um what I was uh, taught when I was younger is um <clears throat> Once you mm. get your paycheck and you kind of budget out all your bills, the first thing that should be at the top of that list is your ties. And then everything else falls after that. And then I'm like, well, what if I don't have enough left to pay my gas bill? Can I borrow that from the ties? Like, can I, can I ration this? Does it really have to be at the top? Can mm. that be the remainder? It's never the remainder. It always has to be the first. Because why? God comes first before everyone else for anything else even your family the person that you're with everyone else you bringing it back listen Jenna you bringing it back I'm, I'm remembering it's like when you talk I have a flashback I was seven eight you know they started they start you off by giving you a dollar and you putting a dollar in the basket mm -hmm. mine was a quarter my mother started me out right my give me a dollar come on put that in the you know they passed the basket put that in yonder get the mm-hmm yeah. God, yeah. I remember that. That was first. In middle school, high school. Oh no. You know, you get some, you get you get allowance now. You get a little more. You got five, ten, five, ten. Mm -hmm. And then they <laughs> see when I was small, they just passed the basket around. Jenna, they upgraded now. They stay they, they pass around the little envelope where you or you write a check and put the check in it. That ain't too even better. They got oh, technical now since, you know, you can't be in person or at least where I am. You can't be in person yet. Cash, you can cash out. send PayPal mm -hmm. that money and go straight to the bank. That ain't 10% though. That's Even not easier. I want to see what percentage of people is actually <laughs> sending 10%. We send it more. So what's, what's the benefit in 2021? None. You leave, you're literally leaving dumber mm -hmm. than you, when you go in. <laughs> the, the 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 less the the less you know about the Bible, and the stupid story that you got to believe, the smarter you are. You know, you I, I I think you're smarter if you don't go around saying, "Hey, yes, I'm a flat earther." The the Earth is six thousand years old. Noah's Ark actually happened. The less you know about that, the smarter you are. So you literally go in and you come out dumber. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Noah's Ark. Three three days, people walk on water and feed a, feed five thousand with a come on. Okay, the, it's like we hmm. we are we're we're like we're in a when we talk about what are the benefits of Christianity in the black community today, none. Would you agree the black experience is shared? You said black experience is shared. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Meaning, even though I've oh. never grew up in the streets or seen violence in front of me, I can identify that because of my skin color, because of the trauma that I may have heard from mm -hmm. other family or have seen on TV or just from you telling me what you went through mm -hmm. or someone else. But well, I'll say this, whether you whether you experience it or come from it or not, you're going to get treated like it anyway. They're going to, I mean, I, this is what I would say. Like, the, the black experience of, like, getting it out the mud, coming from the bottom, and <laughs> it's, it's almost glorified. Like, even the people that don't come from it, Mm. Wanna, you know, they everybody wanna say that they started from the bottom. Now we here. I'm from the slums. I had to get out the mud. I had to, 
every rapper time I have to say, oh, crack and drink. Man, most of y'all didn't have to. So it's like they, they're they taking mm. my pain. You know, I heard gunshots outside. They taking what I have to go through and they making money. I feel like it's just, it's, it ain't cool. So it's like the, I would say the experience might not be the same for all of us. All of us might not, you know, because even though we both are black, you probably have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Like when I say, yeah, they putting, they put, they, you know, they stomaching you, they putting it to your stomach, ask, asking you to give it up. You might not know what that's like, but you, you don't have to, you don't have to come from where I come from to see that and to feel it and to empathize and, you know, like, damn. I don't know what the fuck that's like, but I right. I have a hard time sleeping that night thinking about that shit. Like, ooh. So I, I would say you don't, you don't have to you don't have to come from it to to take it serious to to make it make it is important. It means something. I, I made a video that I haven't posted yet, but in that video I was like, it, it, it literally feels like with this whole this whole atheism thing like i'm fighting a whole different fight out here like it ain't even, it don't even feel the same as other people that talk about their lack of belief and got like i'm no no they you know they have they have guns here they, like it's like it's it's it's, it's iraq mm-hmm. afghanistan it's it's here it's just all of us the same color but it's here so it's like the the exp- that experience it ain't i i it can build character if you make it out of it. You 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 know, but it's like sometimes it's it's, it's it get hard. It's like I don't even wanna I don't wanna go through this. <laughs> if if to the people who think to the people who on the outside looking in, like we can fucking trade if you want to. I I will take it. I don't want I don't I don't <laughs> want it. It's not it's not it's not as cool as they make it seem i promise it ain't it's it ain't fun and that leads to the the other part of the question you had touched on it you, when you add non-belief to it when you <laughs> add the fact that you're a black man in america that's an atheist now you're not only having that same application of whatever bigoted racist idea uh an other has about you now your own black yeah. people have an idea of you because you don't believe in god what who are you that's not that's white man's issue why are you doing that i made a video and it was titled black atheists are the worst <laughs> and that video is every it's is everything you just asked me like you are literally Mm-hmm. Malcolm in the middle. The worst of the worst. The gang, even they look at you different when you tell them, like, you are the biggest seller in the world. My, my, mm-hmm. my, well, I am, you know, I know people who done did everything under the sun. And when I tell them I believe in God, they look at me different. Sir, you've taken lives out here. We, come on now. If anything. Because blasphemy is the ultimate sin. It is. It is so rough. It's a, it, it, this is the weirdest, it's the weirdest spot to be in. It's like, like who really fucks with you when you do that? You know, I, I said it in the video, but like being black is, that is a, that's a fight on his own. And then you add the not believing in, I mean, black folks treat you. It's almost like racism. <gasps> you don't believe in God? <gasps> you black? <laughs> they, they, they treat you the same. It's almost the same shit. Like, damn, you you gonna discriminate? You gonna discriminate yeah. against me for some of the dumb? That's those are the two dumbest reasons to discriminate because I don't believe and because I look this way. I can't change this. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I can't. Logic and reason is logic and reason. We can't change what's facts. It's not my fault that what you believe in don't line up with that. And they treat me like I told. I told you earlier. I got. Mm-hmm. They, they didn't. I didn't got. I didn't got fired from jobs for not for people finding out. You know, black black pastor. The the guy that was in trial was a black pastor. He blackballed. Me, got me out of. It. You know, my 
the, the, the black guy I used to work for that believe in God. He don't even want, he, he, he told his sons who I damn near raised, don't talk to me. He don't want to talk. He don't want to talk to me. Wow. Nobody want to talk to me. They think I'm crazy. My mama, she, she go in the other room. If, 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 if this comes up, she go in the other room. She don't want to talk to me. She love me and she care about me. But if we bring this up, she walk off. Ain't, ain't no time about it. It's, it's believe even if I ain't went to church in two years, they don't matter. I believe it. So you have to go on somewhere with that. You know, so it's like black, black people who believe this treat you like you the black guy and they the white dude. Oh my God. You don't believe in God? My God, what's wrong with you? You're not, you're not light skinned. You're not bright skinned. You don't, you're not, you're not, you're not white. You're not light. What's wrong with you? It's, man, it's. First is that. And then they want to attack your character. Say, oh, you're still young. Mm -hmm. You're not mature. You're not praying hard. You're not in the word. You're not in church. Insult to injury. I, t- I have family members who they have seen like little snippets of what I put. Po- they don't even talk to me no more. They stay away. They scared of me. They think they think if I talk to them long enough, they'll you know it's the devil worshiping. Now you know like what you just said. They attacking. They mm-hmm. attacking my character. Mm-hmm. It's insult to injury. You already hurt and abused and beat up by the system, and then you try to get a hug. Mama like no. Grandma like no. <sighs> Come on now, nah. it's it's, and I'm I'm on a I'm I'm on that like I'm I'm in it. Like, I'm I'm I, I'm not. It's not over yet. I'm not one of those people where it's over. Everybody understand now. We playing patty cake at the family reunion. Nah, dog. It's I'm still in it. Literally, it's still happening to me. They still treat me like that. They still like. <laughs> it's it's almost like you are the black being a black atheist is the worst thing to be because uh, uh, a a light skinned mm. what like we gonna say like like a like a Puerto Rican or something they 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 are they're light they 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 you know their, their complexion is lighter than mine you know they 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 so they can blend in a little bit better than me. You know what I'm saying, if I if I go to corporate America and shit, they gon' it's certain places I've been to because I, I I I like to dress a certain way, hold my. It's certain places I've been to where you can feel the eyes staring on you, like they looking at me different in here when I'm I'm just like them for the most part. I'm just like them, and then you go home, you wanna you wanna be with family and friends, bro. Get up out of here, dog. Ain't up, they like they not invite me over. They not asking me how I've been. They don't want to call me. They don't want to talk to me. You know, my mama done told people in the family, whatever. They don't want to rap with me. They going the other way. So it's like, so it's it's like do a six hour stream and hang with people that actually fuck with you for real. Why you why you streaming so long? Because when I press in on this motherfucker, that's it. What you mean? Ain't nobody fuck with this shit. They, hey man, ain't no, hey, ain't nobody out here. For real, it's you know, I got one fucking friend in real life. Everybody else, I'ma shake their hand. I social. I got one dude that I that I can actually hang with. That don't he he not an atheist, but he he you might as well say he's an atheist, but he don't claim it like I claim. He the only person that we can rock with. You know, I can rock with him. Everybody else, mm mm. I see you on YouTube. How lonely is that? Uh, see, I got y'all. So you see how it is. I'm compensating for it. You know, talking, talking to my atheist family, being on. I don't. I don't really know how lonely it is because I don't let it. Uh. Uh-uh. I'm hitting up somebody. Somebody's texting Black Atheist Rant. I'm. I'm. I'm talking to somebody. I'm on. I'm in somebody chat. I'm on somebody lot is all the time. I'm, I'm talking to y'all, so it's like I don't, I'm not even gonna. I don't even know how to answer that, Jim. Cause I ain't, I ain't letting it. I ain't, I ain't lonely. You see what I'm saying? I ain't lonely. Who? I don't know. I don't know how lonely that is. I, I'm, I'm talking to you now, so it's like I'm trying to catch 
I'm trying to catch catch you before you get lonely. Like, no, no, no. Let me type in atheist on YouTube. Hopefully, the black dude that's letting everybody come talk to him, he treat me like family. Come on. And I think you touched it. That's the whole purpose of a community yeah. like this. Like, yes, as a whole, there is a big atheist community we have a lot of friends mutual shared friends that we converse with almost on a daily basis but within all that mm. is us and we're small and there's not a lot that we can you know <laughs> put hands on for lack of a better <laughs> word and say i'm here you know you can talk to me because our experience in all of this is more or less the same. We're all in different points of our lives. You know, you're younger than I am, but as you know, as, as many know, I'm still positive. There are certain aspects of my life that prevent me from being truly my authentic self outside of mm. this. So I do depend on you and all of our other friends that we have online and through our streams and through our recordings and through our texting and conversations. Because, you know, on the other side, when we used to be believers, we had that. Now that we're here, and unfortunately for you, minus some family, <laughs> or maybe all, and minus the friends that you could mm -hmm. have still had. And it's, it's, it's so interesting and sad how even blood can just let you go like that for no real reason so i want to close it with this and it's kind of like a two-part question um with your channel with you being bar black atheist rants are you just talking to black people or are you talking to everyone? Mm. And if whomever you're trying to reach truly and whoever you're talking to, what message do you have for them? So I will say this. It is, it, it is a niche, you know, I'm, I am trying to get the black community to wake up. You know, I want, I want black atheists. I want them. The minority, like I told you, the minority inside the minority inside the minority. I want them. That is that is the niche, you know. If we if we gonna be as specific as possible, I would say, I want the black atheists to come home, and I want the Christians who are starting to wake up, come rap rap with me, come watch a video on Genesis or something, you know. But the people who aren't black, they they family too, you know. I treat them I treat them like family. They invited to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? We we get along. I'm not, you know, I'm not <laughs> the the community's open. You know what I'm saying? I, I want everybody to feel comfortable. You know, it's home. Like the lady said on the street, it's home. That don't mean it's home for black people or just black people. It's home for everybody. Now because I'm 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 in I'm in closer proximity with the black community, you know. They here, they next door to me. So <sighs> give me him. Give me her. But look, look Becky and Ethan, they can come play too. I'm cool with them. You know what I'm saying? I everybody's invited. So does it, it I mean it you know what what's that saying you say, uh tell the truth, shame the what you say? I like that. I got. You said shit. There we <laughs> go. Like I mean, it, it feels it feel it feel good to to see you. It feel good to talk to black BFA. Come on now, and black 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 atheists. When y'all when when y'all come to me, my fucking heart it pounds. I'm like, oh my god, like this person. Like let me get a hug. And then when you know, Pastor Mike, Secularity, uh, when they come to me, because I stay up four hours with them too, live streaming with them too. It, it, it means something to me too. But I'll be lying to you if I didn't if I didn't say like, knowing that I'm knowing that my brothers, you know, 
that I'm actually next door to that have to go through this same shit as I go through, if, you know, on the outside and the inside, the whole being black and being eight, when, you know, it's, it's, you know, I, it, it means the world to me. You know, I do, I do open it to all, but the niche is black atheists. I'm black atheist rants. You know, I, I'm not trying to be politically, politically correct and everybody is not going to like me. It is what it is. So, you know, I'm just going, I'm going to be me and I'm going to attract who I'm going to attract. Is that mainly black people? Probably. Do white people still like me? Yes. Okay, cool. You know, whoever, whoever, whoever's, whoever's getting the message, whoever feeling it, right? You can come, come kick it with me. And that's how, that's how I look at it. You know, that's, that's the way I'm going to go with it. But I, you know, the, the, when I, cause I come from a family that's not family anyway. Like my, my team, my coaches mm-hmm. are white. I showed the picture the other day. I'm the only black dude in the picture. So I'm. I'm used to the family being a mixed bag and, you know, diverse. And you say like pepper and peppercorn. I'm used to it. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm used to it being <laughs> like that anyway. Them people that don't look nothing like me that come from the, the upper echelon, they, they want to give me the world too. They treated me like family mm. and I treated them, you know, so it's, you know, it's it's it is it, it, it's it's easier to talk to my brothers and sisters, but all families well. You know what I'm saying? That's just the God honest truth for me. That's how I feel, and that's that is where I'm going with it. You know, family is family, but the black folk, man. You know, that's just that's all. That it it it, mm. it feel a little bit better that people, because this this honestly is my civil rights movement. This is my you know, African American hero type shit. So when, so when black people come to me like, bro, you mean something to me? I'm like, MLK would be proud of me. You know, Rosa would be proud of me. Malcolm would be proud. I'm, I, I would like to think that Barack would be proud of me. So it's, it's like, yeah, all families welcome, but we gotta be a hundred, keep it a stack. You know, that black interaction is. Ugh. You, you get you get goosebumps, goosebumps and butterflies. You're like, damn, that's my, you know, my do- yeah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it just, man, it just, it just, it ain't nothing like it. Well, that's why I will say it ain't nothing like it. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, you're good. No, that was perfect. Um, I appreciate you, and you are intelligent beyond your years. And it's good that you have the platform that you have and you have the people that support you to spread you. And, you know, that's the whole purpose of me doing this and so much more because just as you said, you're creating content that you wished someone else had made for you to watch. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm attempting to create content that I wish I was privy to watching all those years that I was bouncing in and out of my faith. And I think a lot of this and a lot of you and our other friends would have propelled me a lot further out of Christianity if there was Mm. more of us more of us like this so thank you i appreciate you we're gonna get this work i had to i'm sorry (laughs) i'm such a nerd (laughs) (laughs) what real quick did you just make that up yourself like where does that come from um i used to watch a lot of uh battle rap or whatever and so one one of my favorite battle mm. rappers, when he gets you good, and he you know he be like, "We gonna get this work," because the crowd will be like, the crowd will be like, <laughs> telling him to stop. You killing him. You doing him wrong. He like, nah, I ain't letting up on him. So when it comes to religion, it's like everybody want us. They want me to stop. 
They want me to be nice. Oh, you got to respect the belief. Uh, no, they're going to get this work. You about to get it. It's, it's like, it's, I like it's it. my way of telling myself, <laughs> you know, keep going. Get in there. You like, when, you know how you feel like you're on a roll? And you're like, yeah, you, you doing yeah. your, you like, you on fire. You got to, <laughs> you got to hype, you got to hype yourself up, man. Like, get this work. I'm, I'm cooking. You know, when you, it's just, it, it, it's like midstream. You need a little, a little fuel to your fire. You say it. You talk, you say it in your head. Cause I used to, before I started saying it, I used to say it in my head. And I, I mean, I, I say it in the videos and I, it's, it's, it's me. That's my, uh, when it comes to religion, that's what it is. Work. You don't get it. And, and that, that's where it come from. I was watching battle rap and he used to say it. Crowd to tell him, please stop you killing him. Nah, he ain't over. He going to get it. Let me work. I like, yeah, that's me. That's my dog. <laughs> I'm about to make a you ain't press record yet, have you? Because I'm just. I did. I did 22 minutes ago. Pasta is going to put a sauce on it. All this is going to be like. He's he gonna cut this part out right here. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> or running at the end as a blooper. Who knows? He he does funny. I didn't even like know that. you was recording. I'm just okay. I, I was just talking to you.